Hello everyone and welcome back to the world of Risk. I'm Kelted, I'm a competitive player in Risk Online, and today I am Beef Jerky from Bolivia playing in another person's lobby. Uh, this is Sunday. On Sunday we snipe other people's lobbies. We go into a ranked lobby, play them on their settings, and do the best we can to defeat them. Uh, we are the sixth position and we are playing a fixed game with true random. Let me see, we'll pull up these, uh, sorry not true random. Uh, we're playing on the map United States, World Domination, Fixed Cards. The AI will be hard and automated if somebody bots out. Uh, all ranks are welcome. Alliances are on, Blizzards are on, and that's about it. So just a fixed game on USA. That's it, with a little bit of Blizzard action. I've got 10 troops right here and a 5. I've got a lot of troops coordinated here. I'm going to put them all together and try to get a bonus. Uh, this Blizzard here cuts off these sections of the map pretty well. I would ideally like to get my troops in here. Bring this five here, bring the three in, try to look at this bonus. I want green to get the F out of my way. This is my bonus. Uh, the Heartland is the biggest bonus on the USA map. New England, Mid-Atlantic, the little ones in the corner. But general Heartland is the big boy, if we can get there. Midwest is not bad, it's three point guard. If I Maybe I could bring my troops in, we'll see. Three-point guard that maybe turns into having the corner. Uh, okay, he hits the red two for me. Gets out of the bonus. That I like. Um, so, Southwest is also a bonus people do like. on the. Um, this isn't the greatest free-for-all map. It's a great map for 1v1, but for free-for-all, not quite. <laughs> but we're, oh, wowzers. Okay. All I want to do early game is survive while people fight and slowly start working towards this as a bonus. So what does red do now? Bring this four out. Blue's got a lot of troops here also to fight for this bonus. Are you just going to concede this to green? Are you going to go for the little plus two in the corner on Pacific Coast? No, you're going to try to make a play for Rocky Mountains, huh? Interesting. My goal is to bring this out and bring this three in and condense my troops in this bonus saying get away from me or I'll kill you. We'll see if it works. See if people like let that happen. Pink's also got to get troops to get these. But uh, how are you going to get these when all your army's over here? White's adding in here. Get out of my bonus. Hmm. I could look at this. This is easier. And then I can let them all fight out. I think that might even be better. Maybe I go for this. Bring this in and just full stack here. Double down on the plus three. Let them fight out here. Ideally, I need to get a bonus. This map in free-for-all is kind of nasty. Um, fun fact, uh, I recorded a Sunday Snipes video a few weeks ago. Recorded uh, being the keyword. I forgot to click record when I played a Sunday Snipes on this map a few weeks ago That was about an hour long game hour and five minutes. It was true random six players epic game with portals um, We we grinded out a really clutch win in the end and then I went to click stop recording and it wasn't recording and I was so depressed Because I played an epic game on this map true random just Clutch out win. Really close win in the end. Perfect snipe video and uh, was not recording. <laughs> but uh, we're recording today. I promise the button's clicked. Although if you hear that promise, clearly I was not telling, or I was not lying, so. Okay. Green and blue are going to fight here or what? Because I can still bring the 11 out and go in here. No. You're conceding that to blue. Are you really going to concede that to blue? And what are we going to do? Just let pink come through and take this? Well, he has to hit the four. There's no sense hitting the three. This is silly. You should be two on one rolling or four on one rolling. You should not be rolling this or this. Yeah, signal and take a card. Okay, that's smarter. I would like red to get out of my way. Oh, I'll make alliance. 
So this is the host of the lobby, by the way. Red player. Gets out of his way. Mm. Goes into here. Gets out of blue's way and gets out of pink's way. Well, that means he's probably going to get out of my way when I move my 11 over. Yeah, I'm going to put three troops on here. Move in here. And pretty much tell him, don't come near me. I might move a two here. And then the rest of the stack here. And I will signal him. White just pops the green five. Wants this bonus. Alright, it's time for me to start looking at taking bonuses. Because his plus two is going to go in and over here, maybe. Blue's also going to take this this turn. I should really look at getting this as soon as possible. I'm going to give red one turn to get out of my way, though. Or waste it and take a card. I think that's the smart play. Ideally, I can bring this three up. Nice, loses nothing. Do I actually wait or do I take it? I think I take it, honestly, with the dice roll like that. Perfect dice! Okay. With perfect dice like that, I'm just going to take it. Lost nothing again. Guard it with a 7, a 5, and a 5. Plus 3. That was perfect dice. I, what did I lose on the 3? 1? Okay, I lost 0 on a 2, 0 on a 3, 0 on a 1, and 0 on a 2. 2, 3, 6, 7, 8. I killed 8 troops and lost 0. That's... I was planning to lose a couple on the two and then chill and force him out. But, like, I'm going to take it if my dice are going to work with me, right? That's where the luck aspect comes into play a little bit. Green has 12 troops in total, and he's mad at white. And if he's getting a trade soon, I bet you this 10 stack goes over here and goes pop, 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 pop. If I'm him, I take a card here and chill and get ready for the reach around slammer. Oh, he's getting ready. You better believe green's going to get a set at some point, and this is where it's going. Delicious. Delicious. Okay. Blue took his bonus. Pink's taking his. So they have an even bonus to mine. Three and three. He's got the four, and he's got the two. So we are happy. We're at 26 troops also. We are leading in troops uh, before my third turn, even. So that's very good. Double artillery is good. It means we're likely to get one of the biggest trades. Uh, when we finally do trade. Probably want to put myself in a position where I could potentially kill somebody. Green is the weakest. He's probably going to come through here when he trades. Uh, maybe I'll put some on this five. Where do I take my next card? Uh, three on one here and back, back to the five, I think. Because I want to be in a position where if green goes up and takes a fourth card and doesn't have a trade. Yeah. Okay. That I can kill him. So, what am I going to do? Where do I take my card? I could do... No, I don't want to hit the green too. There's no point because that feeds him. I'm presuming that this 11 is going to come up to here. I don't overly want to trap that stack. Put all this here. Get ready, just in case. If green uh, gets three troops, puts himself to 16, has a 14 here, attacks this and has a 13. I could essentially have a 16 on 13 roll and a seven on two. And I have a trade with a plus two on Virginia. So if green comes up, I think I kill him for four cards. I think that makes sense. But if he's got a trade on three, he's going to ram it in white's dingle hole. Certainly. But I mean, killing him for four cards is also pretty beneficial for my position. He adds in there instead of out here. Doesn't open my 10, so I can't kill him. Smart. Okay. 
So I don't get to kill him, which is fine. Pink is going to take his bonus. I thought he took it already. I guess not. Um, I have offered an alliance to Red, and he never accepted. Red is the host of the lobby, by the way. Haluk from Turkey. Uh, we've got Man Jordan from the United States. Vicky from Risk. Bark, 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 bark from Great Britain. Guillermo Sonata from France. And Beef Jerky from Bolivia. I got the coolest name in the lobby, just saying. Maybe the dog lovers would disagree with me, but whatever. <laughs> Three on one pop? Oh, that'd be gross. He'd hate me. He would hate me. What are you doing, by the way? You don't have a bonus. You hosted these settings. He, he I, I saw him sitting in lobby for a while. He had two bots. I joined. We sat for a couple minutes. I left. Nobody joined. And then I kept looking for five or six minutes for a lobby that was decent. Uh, ooh, he's got the dude trade. And then I finally, I went back to his lobby because I saw it was like four out of six. And I saw we had three people and he took a bot out and then, then we went from there. No, now you're blocking green from his retaliation. How dare you? Green wants to put it in white's butt. Well, he might still hit this six. <clears throat> I kind of want to move out and expand into here. Hmm. Okay, what does white do? Do I trade? I probably trade. Blue is in here. Blue is going to start doing stuff in here, and so is white in the future. Although blue probably wants to be strong against this 15 stack. Red wants to take this. I don't overly want people to take big bonuses. I got an early bonus. I'd like to capitalize on being stronger than people. I wish he opened me. That would, if he opened me, it would have been a dead green. <laughs> that, if he hit that and fortified back, that was a dead green. Six and eight is 14. I could roll a 15 on 10, but I'd have to slow roll and pop. It'd be difficult. It's doable, but it's not clean. It's not crisp. It's not beautiful. It's unfortunate. I think I might as well trade, though. I don't want to be on four cards and having people think I'm a fish. Not what I want. Seventeen and a fourteen. And we'll take a card here. And we'll back it up. We're gonna chill. Another artillery. Okay, so I would have had that trade no matter what. Got good use out of it. I have 47 troops right now. Like, uh, Green better be hoping he's trading this turn. Because it's not just me that would be hunting him. 18 and for 5 cards? That's juicy. Super juicy. Also, red might open the way for me to come around. If red fortifies all of his stack here or something to watch the corner, I could come around. <clears throat> oh, he's got the four trade. He had dudes. That's two people with dudes, and I had the artillery. So unfortunate. He's in a really bad spot. He wants to coordinate his stacks together, but that's not a good idea either. You're easier to kill then. Or he's taking the easiest card without opening my 17. That's actually probably what he's doing. <laughs> Although I might fortify that. Hmm. Offer an alliance to pink. I don't want to lose my three stack. I kind of like it there. Hope this succeeds. Opens my 17. Thank you. Beautiful. White's about to have potentially five cards. And 34 troops. I don't think blue would kill him, though. Offer an alliance to blue. Oh, how do we deal with this? Red's also very weak. Do we actually let him hold that? I don't think that's the right play. Letting him hold it. But I also don't want him to hit me. What do I do? He has no trade right now, so breaking him isn't terrible. Maybe I can get you to hit red? Hmm. 
I really want this bonus. Like, I'm... Give me the double bonuses. And I can guard it from three points right here, here, and here. Kind of. Attack red, heart! <laughs> well, if all those troops are here, he might already be doing it. Or is he going to hit this red three? Hmm. Ah, uh, he does. He takes the bonus. Give him a thumbs up. That was a good hit. I'd like him to break the red, but he does not. Hmm. You're gonna have to play for diplomacy. Only person really killable right now, red and green. Red's very killable. 23 troops, I'd have to kill his 23 with this stack. It's not enough. Green I could kill. I could... Full on kill green right now. Obviously not worth it for for that many cards, but. <clears throat> mm. I keep a bigger stack in the back door. Twenty out of sixteen. Okay, we've got an artillery and a cavalry. Time to get some of those dudes everybody's been trading in. Be nice. Surprised nobody's died yet. If I positioned my stack a little different, eh, I could have got green. But if I brought my stack off of here, it would have really shown him I was going to aim for killing him. And he might have A, traded early, or B, broke me or hit me here for it, right? Also, I'm really glad I didn't kill him since he had the dude trade. Uh, killing him for 15 troops to trade for four? Not good. This is beautiful. <laughs> He doesn't ally me, but he breaks red. I like that. My bonus is very safe to hold. Like, green doesn't want to make an enemy, probably. I'm going to eat my words right now, or no? I'll offer you an alliance. Keep going. Oh, baby. Green was mad at white at the start of the game for the 10 on 5. And now the payback is coming. Why does people... Suicide me. Why does people suicide? Why do people suicide me? That can be why. <clears throat> um, ping pong fortify. I could do a ping pong fortify. Uh, no pink. Don't hit my three. And now you're gonna stay in the bonus. <sighs> I don't like that. He needed to add out here and take cards out here. Or take this. Him breaking that, I don't like that at all. I need an infantry. I want to take this bonus and try to hold it. Because it's a plus four. If I get that, it's really good for me. Give green a thumbs up. I've got uh, no incentive to kill him right now. Three cards for 22. Plus he's got a war with white. He's probably going to want to take this corner out. Um, showing him some good faith here is good. He also hit black, blue to go through and hit white and take this, rather than break me or anything. He's shown no aggression to me. He's been vulnerable, so I've wanted to kill him. But other than that, there's been nothing between me and green all game. So I have no ill will towards him, and I don't think he's holding any towards me. So that being said, now that he's no longer in the killing position, he can be an ally. That's one thing to recognize. Even if you're the weak person, if someone's eyeing you up to kill you, but you're no longer worth it, and now you're in the mid game, an alliance can make sense. If you can move past the fact that somebody's been eyeballing you for a little bit, and recognize that that's just part of the game, <clears throat> then uh, that can make sense. Let me see. Okay, let's do this. I have a good alliance going with uh, with green. Pink might break me. If he hits the six, that's a little bit of a war. Pink can break me without hitting the six. Pink can get cards without breaking anybody out here. Oot here. He can also take this bonus. <clears throat> Are you my ally? And you're using the 
I'm shocked emoji? Oh, how dare you? That's my trick. That's my trick. Are you gonna break red again? Are you, red was really chill after the break. Oh, and he does it again. That's what happens when you're a big boy with a lot of troops. You don't give an F. I don't have a trade. I wanted a dude. Now I would take a dude or an artillery. Green has got the bonus. I want you to take me out here. <clears throat> Where's he going? I don't mind if you hit this. Like, I don't mind if he hits Iowa, but if he hits out here, I, I'm a little bit unhappy. Yeah. Oh, oh! He's trying to coordinate all his troops. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let me move it. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? I'm... How am I supposed to understand that I'm sorry I need to attack your territory means that? What? How in the world am I supposed to read that language? What is that language? That's the dumbest thing I've seen. I'm sorry, I need to attack your territory. Ping, pong, slam, slap. Let's consolidate into a single position now. So instead of being... Nearly impossible to kill. Now we're easy to kill. Oh, okay. <clears throat> there goes the six stack and the extra three ones I wasted. So there, I lose eight or nine troops off that. Plus the bonus. So I lose 12? Because I don't know if pink would have broke that or not. I mean, he broke pink too. But now what do I do? I take this bonus, and then what does he do? He takes one card here and doesn't break me? Or does he hit me here for a card? I don't like that at all. Really didn't like that. Red's also getting very weak. He's on four cards and 27 troops. Very killable. I need to pay attention to this. Because I could easily come out, come out, split four off, and then dingle slam him. But I'd prefer if he was on five cards and, like, 20 troops. I'd like him to, like, hit a seven of whites and then get another card or something. And then he'd be more worth it. That was disgusting, bro. What the heck was that green play? I'm sorry, I need to hit your territory. I mean, A, you didn't need to, and B, what? <laughs> oh, man. And here's the thing. He thinks what he did was a good move. And he thinks he was did the honorable thing by warning me and giving me thumbs up and telling me to attack his territory. Like, he's using the alliance feature very smart. But... <laughs> that was such an act of war and aggression. It absolutely blows my mind. This better not fail. Okay. Now I need this to recoup. I need a dude. Preferably. Double artillery, double cavalry. <laughs> It's very odd. I've got a new emote on my stream called Send Dudes, because all I get is a ton of dudes. He's killing red right now. I'd be cool with that. Then he owns too much of the board. White's not happy being blocked in. Not to mention, I could knock white out of here, and then he's card blocked. No, he does not kill him. Okay. Yeah, so I have a Send Dudes emote. A poorly played Risk on YouTube, if you don't know her. Um, she's got a channel. She's pretty great. But she got a custom-made emote for me, because all I get is dudes and fixed. That's all I get. No, no, don't start stacking out here again. That means you're gonna come through me again when this gets too big. <laughs> why, 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 why? This was a 10. This was a 10 stack of his. And he added a bunch of troops here to come all the way in. And then he's gonna build a 10 stack out here again. He's gonna build it into a 10. Send pink a heart. <laughs> now chill. No, 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 no. That's a thumbs down. That's a thumbs down. Big time thumbs down there. Hmm. Now your bonus gets broken. And then my bonus gets broken. Now me and Pink are at war. That's so dumb. Oh, here we go. Red smokes blue. Blue's on five cards. Okay, game's opening up. 
Red's also got two cards. White could kill red into a trade in to kill blue. Or is he chill? Because I would take all the kills if you don't. That's seven available cards for... Seven cards for 23 troops. 24 if I have to go through an extra one. Seven cards. Double trade. Definitely dudes available. I mean, I'm assuming he's going to kill it. Pass your turn. Don't make enemies. Okay, he's going to kill red. I still kill blue. Oh, he's going to take that. This sucks. What do I do? Because, like, white's going to own the Rocky Mountains also. But I have to go through the Rocky Mountains to get the blue kill, I guess. And he's going to take that, too. <clears throat> he's not in a position to get blue. I want blue's five cards. That'll double trade me. Probably has two dudes. Or a dude in... Well, I doubt he's got a wild or he would have traded. A good trade, so... We'll, we'll say blue's got two dudes. I'm going to get a double, double du decker. I'm going to get 22... 10 trades. Give me 20 troops. And then what? I take this. And ignore this. <laughs> White's in a position he wants to own this half the board. Okay, I have to hit this. Hmm. I mean... Don't lose troops on this. I need... I need the slider to work with me. So I've got to kill 16 and 4. I've got to kill 20 troops. I need good dice. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. Alrighty then. And a 1. Oh my god, my dice right now are just incredible. Double dudes! Wait, he had a big trade. Um, cool. Okay. Boom. And boom. Cool. Um. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. It is fine. Stop it. Stop being a punk. Twenty-two. Non-threatening guard. And we got a dude. We got another big trade. We're at 71 troops. We've got a lead. Um, <clears throat> presumably, I'm going to eat... I don't know what pink's going to do to me. Give white a, a heart and a thumbs up. Yeah, he breaks pink here. I like that. He takes this bonus from him. Can I work with white? White and I are either going to clash and both lose, or we're going to swallow the board and just dominate. Give Green a thumbs up. Thumbs up. I need to work with him. He thinks we're allies. I get like I guess. I mean, what he did really sucked, but like, I guess in his own way, he's been working with me. <laughs> I guess. I, I. Or he's playing very dumb. But like, that playing dumb move is just gonna get you clobbered by like lesser experienced players than me. Send pink a heart. He's going to break me, is he not? I didn't break you after you broke me. Attack white, thumbs up, thumbs down. Stop. Now, I need white to be my ally. So he's asking me to hit white, and I'm thinking about it, but it's going to depend on what white does right now. Give him a thumbs up. His 22 is also trapped. So is mine. But uh, if I get broken here, it opens. He could take Rocky Mountains, takes five of my troops out, but I'm not opposed to it. I don't mind. Where's my plus twos? Up here. <laughs> yep, thumbs up. I'm sorry I need to attack your territory. Thumbs up. And he's going to come here. Yep. Give him another thumbs up. I'm cool with that. That's fair. And I can hold my two bonuses and we're good. Yes, okay. Send him a heart. Now, now, green wants me to hit white, but, like, how am I going to hit white when that just happened? How can I hit him? We're besties now. We are absolutely homies. Um, 
have so many troops. Um, okay, I'll make this a 25. I don't trust anybody. Um, make this a 15. No, I could leave it as a 10. Make it a 13. I want to bring this three back, but also, like, it's not that important right now. Got another dude. Artillery would be great. Yeah, take that bonus. Chill. Oh, I'm in such a good spot. <laughs> Killing White for his five cards would have maybe should have been something I could have considered that turn. I don't know if I would have had the position for it. Okay, you trade on three. To suicide me? That was stupid. That was really stupid. You traded on three to do that, and then you don't break my other bonus? Hmm. He smacks my 13 stack to break the plus three instead of hitting a one stack to break the plus four. If you said I'm sorry and I and I have to attack your territory and he hit a one to break my plus four, okay, you know what, I'm ahead. That makes sense, a little bit. He smacked a 13 stack to break a plus three. What? Don't hit my three. Okay. <laughs> Moron, I have a big trade again. Oh, I have to play around this skill levels. <laughs> Send green a heart. The problem is, oh, he breaks white. <laughs> okay. The problem is... Yeah, the problem is Pink doesn't like me holding two bonuses, but he's okay with White holding two bonuses. I don't like that at all. <laughs> like, I'm lined up to kill you, Pink, if you mess around with me too much. I'm also lined up to kill Green right now for five cards, but uh, that would involve some really crazy stuff from the other people that would have to happen for me to be... for that to be worth it. I mean, they both have a ton of troops trapped. But other than that... See, he can take a card without breaking me. Not a problem. This time he... This time he doesn't break me. This time he doesn't break me. I retake and that's it, and he doesn't break me. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna be on par with white, maybe slightly ahead. I mean, if white knocks green out of this position, then what? He's also... I need to pay attention. So white's trapping a lot of troops, right? So I would not mind going into a 1v1 situation with white after everybody else dies. <clears throat> so like, just by seeing how white's playing, it's not a terrible idea for me to just let white exist and be strong. Um, okay, green can still make it all the way over to him. I need to be powerful. I know you want me to hit white, but the problem is I... I like you, green. But not enough to ruin this alliance, because you don't have very many troops to help me with white. That is more. But like my bigger enemy, I'm feeling like, is pink. I would much prefer to hit pink. I also kind of chopped off and cut off my 31, unfortunately. I don't think that was the right move. I should have took a card here. 
Uh, that was the wrong move. I wanted to open green stack, but he was already open to pink, and he already couldn't come through here because of this or this. I guess he could come... No. Okay, he hit the four. He did do what I thought he might do. He did open the white 25 at the same time, though. Pink's also not hitting me now. Preferably. He opens it again. Okay, good. So I will come down and take a card here now, now that my stack's reopened to the rest of the pink. <clears throat> and I won't break him. I will chill. Still have a plus two on Wisconsin. I'm, I'm liking the way the game's shaking, shaping up. I'm ahead. White and I are reasonably okay with each other. Green and I are reasonably okay with each other. But he might turn on me if I don't help him with white at some point. So I do need to pay attention and be cognizant of that. Uh, pink is the one that's most up in the air with me. He doesn't like my position. And he's trying to do what he can, or she, to uh, prevent me from being strong. But at the same time, if she keeps trying to fight me, I will win that fight. Because all it takes is one good retaliation and she's out of the game. He or she, whatever. <laughs> and now, White's 24 is out and probably not going back in. If I had to guess. The 10 might even come out. And if it does, that means my 1v1 chances against White in the endgame are not as good. Although his 24 is blocked again. <laughs> I love this guy. He's a beautiful man. Mm. Chill. Bring that back. Nevada. Do I own that? I don't. And you guys are like, how do you not know that you don't own Nevada? I'm not from America, so I don't know where Nevada is on this map. This is Texas, right? Only steers and queers in here, and then this is Florida. So I guess Nevada is somewhere in here. Nope. It's over here. <laughs> Whatever. Berg's getting six still. So it's only a slight lead we'd have. This is uh, kind of shaping up kind of like a classic fixed game. Where we hold a bit of an advantage with bonuses. But that doesn't matter too much if we get into a war. I want the three to go back, because that's the territory I want to hit a card for. Okay, he's backing his stack here. So maybe I'll take a card out here then. But that opens his 24. Green's now really pointing at him, though. I have five cards. I have a big trade. Hmm. I really want to hit pink. Also, now the problem is this 39 is blocked by this 18 coming out, so I kind of want to move it up here. Maybe I will. Three on one here, bring my 39 in. Show completely good neighbor to white. Also, that would mean if pink does go buck wild, he can actually go through me into white's back door. He could come through. He might see the path of this and be like, that's cool, I can slow both of them down, and then maybe he'll do that. <clears throat> so I actually think I do bring my 39 out. Uh, we'll take my plus two on Wisconsin. Um, I'll do that. Make this a 50. Make that a 43. I also don't want pink to have this bonus, though. Bring that out. <laughs> Got a dude. I have another big trade. I really want to hit pink. But green might see that as a threat to him. What's he doing? Chilling? Okay. I just need these troops active. Uh, White and I have a good enough alliance, I feel like, that he's not going to backdoor me. Send green a heart. Attack my territory. No. Yeah, if he's going to add here, he might go buck wild through me. And if he does, I think it'd be more likely he'll go through white as well. No, he's keeping his stack strong. What's he got here? 66, 70, 20 over here, 70 over here. So if I wanted to kill him, big trade double bonus here probably finishes him. Or close enough that I just split 30 off here. I could finish him relatively easily if I wanted to. It would take everything out of me. <laughs> Who goes after me? Green. Like, if I went all in and killed Pink for a bunch of cards, and then Green 
instead of betraying me and killing me and winning the game from it, he went all in on white and we had an interesting game. That'd be kind of cool. Take that three, because eventually someone will go through there. So I'm just going to save those extra two troops. I don't think this three gets hit. People are fine taking cards in here. Pink can take a card here, can take a card here. What's green going to do? Okay, still taking cards off pink, but stacking mostly out here. He wants his biggest stack out here now. Which, if you do, why did your ten have to come? Look at the lead I've built right now, right? Because I'm getting a plus four and a plus three and I'm not fighting. He's getting a plus four and a plus two. So I'm getting one troop a turn more than white. I've also been getting the big trades. Uh, I also got a bit of a lead from killing blue and having great dice. I'm also slider blitzing or, or perfect four on one rolling for all of my cards. So I'm going to be losing less troops just taking cards than white. So I'm growing over white. And I'm growing further over pink and green. Please don't hit me. I don't think hitting me is your right play. There's other enemies. Can we hit pink? <laughs> don't bot out. I mean, if you bot out, things are interesting. Mm -mm. 29 on this one, I'm hoping. Or the three, at least don't break my bonuses. Okay, he adds some here to take a card. Good. That's some love right there. Good. Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I thought he was thinking about it. That would have been beautiful. Boom. I did lose a troop on that one, though. Okay, we've got another dude. Got big trade with dude and cavalry to back it up. We don't have a plus two. We've got all this guy's territories, which is fine. This continent is kind of available. Imagine green went for it and said, that's mine. Nobody break. That would be interesting, actually, if green took this continent and then stacked like right here and is like, come on, who's going to break me now? I mean, white would. Because <clears throat> he broke white a couple times. I'm content with how this is playing out right now. At all times, I have a kill line on pink. <sighs> it's tricky, though. I want green to fight white a lot more before I go for pink. Yeah, you yawn away. At least you've stopped fighting me. So I'm taking my turns a little bit quicker. I do want to win this. The, the goal is obviously first place. So, uh, I could have probably secured second reasonably easy by now, but the goal is first place. Keep a 75 out here. That 75 and a 58. I've got some stacks, and I am growing. Um... Like, if you want to check, I'm getting 10 a turn, white's getting 9, pink's getting 6, and green's getting 6. So 6, 6, 9, and 10. I also might have, like, green cocked back in my slingshot, ready to point it at white at all times. As I feel like if I hit white, green will follow through. You're not holding that, bro. I don't think that's going to be a thing. Oh, are you going to hit green? No. Just takes two territories just to make sure his stack is trapped? Or to make sure I'm under... No. You don't get to hold that bonus after all that time. Got a big trade again. 
Green stopped taking cards in here for a second and it gave him the chance. I probably should have been taking cards in here. Because I don't want to give him the illusion that he deserves that bonus. Green still. Oh. Yeah. Bring your stack to this stack. You do it again. Do it again. Bring a 10 this way and, I'll, and bring it in. Yeah, that'd be beautiful. Do it again. Uh, Pink's really stacking. This is trapped, man. If the board breaks out and goes nuts. Three on one better work. Good. <clears throat> and 53. Building my lead. Because, like, this is the same turn. I'm going to get my bonuses in a minute. Get my 10. I'll be at 163 to his 139. Getting quite the lead. Not the most quick game, but it is. I'm not going to trade yet. It's not the quickest game. But I am in the position... The best position. We got Nevada again. Got all these territories and none of mine. Got this one. Oh, man. Imagine green took this bonus right now. Puts the pressure on white to be like, break me or not. White goes before me, so I'd get to see if white broke him. I wonder if I would let green hold that just so white's card blocked. And then I can trade cards in here. I think I would. I think if green takes this and white card skips, I think I take cards in here and I let green hold that. Just to see what happens. Are you suiciding me or? <laughs> you're card skipping. Okay, I'm cool with that. And now you're bringing troops out? No, you're not. Okay. Yeah, his 41 troops trapped is really good. It would give me... So if I could sweep the board... If I could essentially sweep the board... Uh, um, and, like, stack here and here... And not let it... Like, if I could take everybody out and then stack here and here... And his 41 had to uh, take a turn to fortify... Um, I would win because of the bonus troops I'd get in that turn. Just something like that. <laughs> Same with his 66. If I could sweep the whole board... No, I wouldn't have enough bonuses over here to compensate for the 66. Unless I already had like 30 to 40 troops. Hmm. Trading. Hundred and eight stack now. I feel like I'm in the best spot because of my two stacks. I have two stacks, one of them's large. Everybody else is kind of split up a bunch of awkwardly. Smaller stacks, kind of noobish. Green's also a two stacker right now, but. So you could leave your three there, bring your five up, yo. Do it. Leaves a five? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then he leaves a five and brings it up to a nine. So now Pink's definitely not taking that bonus. If he does, you might not like. Okay. What does Pink do now? Take a card? He wanted a 69 here and then did the what? Hey! Could have dabbed on it. I don't have that on this account. Maybe I should get it. Ah, the good old fixed on USA. Two people eliminated four player standoff. Standoff, stalemate, standoff. Yeah, a bit of all of it. I mean, I could kill Green for his five cards. Presumably I lose 100, get 10 back. So I, I go down to 90 troops against these two. I would go down to 90 troops against these two. Not good. I wouldn't die that turn because uh, Pink's 41's trapped, his 66 is trapped. Like they wouldn't be able to kill me to capitalize on that, but I would turn into the weakest player. Right now I'm the strongest player and I'm growing my lead over them. Need a cavalry. 
Wait, pink skipped again. Pink's actually doing skips. Okay. Hmm, he wants me to hit white. Whoa! The problem is, if I hit white right now, that 110's at my 108. Give white a thumbs up. <clears throat> Let him know we're good. I'm hoping we're still good. Him full stacking here is better than having a bunch of split stacks everywhere, so. It's like he heard me speaking through the computer of, I'm in a better spot because I'm not split up all over the place, and he's like, good idea. I mean, I'm not streaming, so. Green's now putting nine stacks everywhere, so he did the opposite of hear me. Pink's now zero carding, which makes that kind of funny. So he's essentially getting six troops to turn instead of nine. Oh, he bought it. And he breaks me, because <clears throat> he bought it. Okay. But he may come back. Now White's got a line on him. Yeah. The funny thing is, the host of this game died long ago. He got sixth, because I killed blue after red died. Funny, funny. Red suicided into blue, though, on his way out, because he was mad. Which, I mean, like, if you can't get something on this map, you're screwed. This is not a good free-for-all map. Um, what does white do? Pops this, or no? What does he do? I kind of want the 68 to attack and go left, right? So I leave my stack there, take a card up here. This 17 might also hit these. Uh, we did get a cavalry. But here's the thing, green... Oh no, my bonus might actually get broken here. Seventeen with no trade. What difficulty was the bots? I don't remember. They're on hard. Okay, so almost expert. So it would roll a 17 on 9, because that's a 100% roll. If I had like a 13 here, I probably doesn't. Ideally, I can force the pink bot left into white, and then white can contest with it and probably hit it. Even if white catches in, up to me in troops right now, I'm okay with that. As long as that involves pink moving left. I'm going to try to take cards as far from pink as possible, so pink expands. That's what I want. Also, if he expands here into green's business, that's good. If he can expand this way into white's business, good. I can hold this down and just fortify and stay here. Stay in the middle, look for opportunities. Hope the 68 keeps swinging. Keep going, big boy. I might even move the 108 out. Oh, yeah. Bring the 108 up one and chill and let it take this bonus and then start stacking against his 110 and his 20. I think that's what I do. Yep. Let's let it happen. For now, white's going to get 10 and I'm going to get 6, which is whatever. Four troops for a few turns means 12, right? I'm already up. I'm up one troop in a trade in and this turn, so I'm up a bit still. Yeah, I think I hit this three and I move up and I stack here or something. And I run away from the pink bot, let it expand and fight white. It's also expanding right into green. I'm going to completely back off of it. Now look at him guarding all his borders as the bot's going to come into him. Oh, he hits my three. That sucks. I'll hit your three. And then back up. Oh, I don't have to. We still... Do not have a, tr a plus. What is this game? Chill. And chill. Beautiful. 
Now what are we looking at? Uh, <laughs> they trade again. I don't know. This game, the cards are just like blessing me this game. It's unbelievable. Now look at Green's position. If I could get Green to kill White or hit White hard. Oh, and he's going to let the bot out here. Come on, fortify back. Oh, damn. If I can get green to hit white hard, I could kill white into green into taking the 1v1 with the bot, as long as this guy doesn't come back. He ran out of patience, and now we got to play around that. He takes one card here. Keep going. Yeah, this sucks. Okay, keep going. Nice. Take this bonus all the way. Yeah, move all of it, because there's no nobody's attacking this. Keep going. Oh, so Yeah, so Pink's running out of cards to take. He is going to move into white. I like it. I have 206 troops. I'm still up above white by 8. And I still get my 6 this turn. So I'm essentially up by 14. And I have a big trade in the pocket. Maybe he doesn't. And the white, the pink bot is going to move moving straight left. And he can't guard all those borders and he's trying. My goal is to card block the pink bot right now. I go left in here and sit here. Green might go up and not fortify. Oh, this is just... This is good. Yeah, make a 20 there or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Beautiful. Um, It might have a trade with all these bonuses. So I do need to actually... Split that better? Hmm. Will it roll my 30? One three, six, and territories would be five. This gets 11. Plus a trade. 38s are safe. I'm going to abandon this three and let it hit that three if it wants to. For the... I don't want to take any chance that it rolls in here. Now, can I get green to work with me on white? <clears throat> I mean, I would ideally... Please don't hit me. Hit the 13. Thank you. Breaks the bonus. <clears throat> Gives pink a bunch of cards to take. Oh, is he just going to wipe it? Oh, that's unfortunate. Because ideally, we get pink to go into white here, and white fights pink, and then green and I strike him, right? With the alliance. But he's going all in on pink right now. He wants to take this bonus. He just wants this bonus. He's going to... He wants pink's bonus. Okay. There's still a chance that the 66... Well, it probably takes this continent. And then does it split a 40 here enough to hit some of these? It's possible. Yep. Big split. 46. Boom! Yes! Into this, this is the one we wanted to break. Nice. And just leave it there? Leaves a five and the 27. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're at 204 troops. That was a good hit on him. We've lost nothing so far, really. That was absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to chill. He might get mad and hit the pink bot back. He's going to at least hit the five and try to hold that. And now here's the, he loses seven on it. He has to hold that bonus two turns just to make up for that loss. And he's going to split and try to hold this and defend it. And green's going to have to try to defend this. We have the big trade again. <clears throat> I don't like that 29. Presumably it's going to have a trade.
So I'm gonna go up. And I'm gonna stay here. White wants me to hit green! <laughs> you hit green! My whole goal right now is pink doing this. He's breaking the bot here, so the bot might actually just retake this. We'll see. So, the way this looks like, is like, I'm just chilling. And they have to contend with the bot. But like, what I'm actually doing is trying to manipulate the bot into hitting white. That's what my entire goal has been in my play around here. <laughs> and this could very easily hit one of these. The 30 can hit a 20 or a 23. Because it's a, they're both 100% rolls. So a hard bot will hit them just as much as an expert will. Hits this one this time. Retakes. Yeah, so now green's down to one... Or white's down to 165. And now I'm 55 troops ahead. Or sorry... 45 troops ahead with the trade. So essentially 55 troops ahead. And we've got Kansas. We've got a plus two. Things are going. They're going well. And is he going to hit the pink eight to take his bonus back? You bet he is. <clears throat> Just pay attention to my troop total versus green and whites combined. Right now they're at 300 to my 210 with a trade. Right? That's pretty close. What if green hits a little bit more of pink? What if pink hits one more time? What if he hits the 26? How close is my troop total to theirs combined? Because if I get close enough to 300, they're at 300 right now. If I was at 270, I could end the game immediately. <laughs> pretty interesting. Um... What do I do in regards to pink? I think I'm still chilling. White's on 12 territories, so we'll knock him to 11, just for that one extra trip. Staying here means pink can't come up into this. Pink can go this way, but this is just one more territory pink can't hit, so it's more likely to go this way. Uh, pink's going to get four, five, seven, and three. It's going to get ten on its turn. Not enough to go in, really. Gets broken, though. So green's... Which is fine. I'm okay if green wants to fight the bot. That's perfectly fine with... Green's troops are trapped, too. Both of these. White's going to have four cards. Green's got two stacks trapped. It's One's going to open, though. Oh. They're at 307 to what? Or sorry, 316 now. Because he's getting his stuff. Is he going to break in here though? Because he doesn't want... Like if, instead of guarding these three borders, you pop this 7 and bring all these stacks together on this. And then you're single guarding from breaking. Right? And bring the 20 in. And then you're in a better position for it. Yeah, or the 14 in. That's fine, too. That works. That's good. That's a good play. Okay. Getting close to figuring out what to do. Now, now that he's figured out the bot... Can I get green to hit white? No, maybe not. He's got to contend with the bot. This 59 is like sort of trapped. Well, really trapped. He has to go through this 10, 1, 1, 20 to get to me. He's got 30 bot troops to contend with before he can get to me. If I go buck wild over here. The 48 can come. The 30 is trapped. But I also don't know what pink will open on its turn. Right? Like it could open stuff. So I can't rely... Well, actually, green goes immediately after me, right? <clears throat> so I can play around that. It breaks him, and then now he probably hits the 15. Tag white. Up or down. I'm going to hit white, I think, this turn. <laughs> Was he hit the 14? Oh, if he's going to hit the bot like that, maybe I don't. Like, he just wasted nine troops that he just earned. I like that a lot. 
And he's going to bring that full stack out. We got a dude trade. Not fun. Do you want to knock white again? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this and see if I get to hold it. <laughs> Uh, pink's gonna get three plus three, six. 21 on 20 is not gonna get rolled. I'm just gonna leave that as a 20. And I'm gonna give white a heart and see if I can hold both of these. Now that he's brought the bot out to this little corner, we can kind of restrict it and force it into green. Now green's gonna be forced to hit bot stacks, right? To get a card. Green actually card skips there. Bot adds in here, adds out here. Probably takes cards in here. We're not there yet. 164. They're at 307 together. We're getting closer. I mean, he's about to trade, though, and have both bonuses, so. I also have my 126 still pointed at white, just in case. I was really close to going in on white there. I have to be a little bit careful about the, the smash back if he does suicide backwards. Bunch of 20s is fine for me. Yes. I've kind of put White in a situation where if he wants a card, he's hitting the bot. That's great for me. They have 312 combined troops. Oh. They have 307 combined troops. <laughs> and his 62 is trapped. Hmm. Like this idea. Okay. <laughs> yep, well, it's time to betray the Alliance. I'm sorry, but it is time to betray the Alliance. And that is all we got to say about that. Bring the 20 into here. See if green will help. 131. So now they're at 275 to my 233. I've got a giant lead. Now does he come through and hit him? Hits the 8 at least. Come on. Is he slidering? Yeah. Show some love. Show some support. Attack my territory if you need to. I would love to hit a 20. If he hits 120, we're laughing. Just hits these ones? Okay. It just means white has an easier path to me. Stay. That's perfect! If white wants to suicide me with his 81, he has to go through green 63. <laughs> Look at their troops. Combine their 255. I have the big trade. He is going to hit green. Green's also going to get broken by pink. I think I just win on this next turn. I think I win on the next turn. Or, well, set myself up to win. Because this 95 troops is not, or 85 troops is not active. And it's not in a position to kill this 62. So pretending this side of the board doesn't exist, I win next turn. And then have a position ready to win with... Especially if this happens. If he goes Bongo Cloud, no, he doesn't. Does he chill or does he keep going? Losing two on ones. He's going to hit my 40s, one of them. Or is he going to take this bonus? Give him a thumbs up. If you're taking a fourth card, it'll give me a trade if I kill you. Open my stacks up and you're dead. Okay, hit a stack and you're dead. Okay. You're done now. 88, they're at what? Hmm. 
they're at 219 to my 199. But green's got to go through a bunch of stuff. Hello. What's up, white? Uh, I can get around to green. Okay, I can still get to him. Good dice? Great dice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, green wants... It's time to take that attacker's advantage. To the next step. Right, I can stop being slow. You want some green? Come at me through the pink boy. <laughs> He's doing it. I've got a big boy trade too. He's got to hit at least a 12 and a 13 to get to me. Slider? It's okay. <laughs> He's got 60 troops to my 87 with five cards. Um, hit pink. Thumbs up, thumbs up. He sees. He sees I win and he's gonna go for pink. Okay. Oh, he's done. Okay. No. Your smart play was to go for pink. <clears throat> Your smart play was to go for pink and take second. Now I have to kill you before pink. I wanted to give you second, and now you're making it so you don't get second, you get third. I do have to go through pink's 11, unfortunately. Oh, actually, pink might move out. Oh, uh, well. Good game. If I'm being honest with you, bro, uh... You broke me. You had second. You had second secured if you turned on pink. <laughs> but you're playing for first still. The problem is, you had already lost the game, and I gave you the option to take second and secure second. And you thumbs up me, and then you're trying to play for first. So that's fine. We will end you. Oh, that's so unfortunate. <clears throat> To be honest, I don't have to kill pink right now. I can just take everything back. I make you hit pink. Make sure my stack has access to you. Is this 40s not coming out? Yeah. Hit pink or die. Attack pink. Did you recognize what's happening? You hit pink or you get third. He, he, okay, now, <laughs> now I've made it very clear to him. Hit pink and you get second. And he understands. He won it first. I, he figured out, I showed him that that doesn't going to work on me. Yep. You can have second. I made it very clear that that wasn't going to work on me. And then he realized, oh, that's not going to work on him. Now I'll take my second. Okay. He was feisty. He wanted the first, so whatever. <laughs> but uh, we showed him it's not happening. So he's settling for second. And he committed to that, right? He had a bunch of pink, went and hit in the corner. So he committed to second place now. I've got enough to easily clear. So we'll, we're going to do just that. We also get two bonuses for a plus six on top of five. So we get 11 on our turn, presumably, unless pink gets horny and keeps going. You son of... All right. Welp. And he even went to the back corner there just to show good faith that now... Now he went to the corner to show good faith that he's not even going to try to screw me. Hmm. 
Mm. I'm gonna slide it because I want to make sure I'm cleaning paint completely. Whatever. I think we've got it. Good game. So pink dies. Pink bought it out with four left, ends up with third. White ended up getting uh, fourth out of all that. And trade. Yeah, we're some good game. Give him a good game. Well played. I still, to this moment, an hour later, have no freaking clue why he took his 10 through my 6 into here and then put another 10 stack here the next turn. Well played. Heart. Maybe this man will catch me on Sunday steps. Because I caught him. Actually, we caught the red player. Beef Jerky from Bolivia taking the W. Hope you guys enjoyed that game. Uh, we had... Green was Grandmaster? There's no way he did that move. And he was Grandmaster. Okay, sorry. Blue was Expert. Green was Grandmaster. Pink was Intermediate. Red was Expert. And White was Expert. We had three Experts, an Intermediate, and a Grandmaster. That was a great lobby. It was a great game. Uh, sorry, I got a little bit slow in the middle. We were finagling some stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the game. Please subscribe to the channel. More risk tomorrow. More risk every single day. Vicky Sonata would like to be my friend. Uh, you know what? No. You can be my friend on YouTube. If you find this game. Uh, take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, same time.